Buell tooth. Ha! Oh my god, it's been a month since I made a video. Holy crap. Okay, well. This is, uh, the Fosse Audio T20. Well, I noticed two things at first. Um, it's got some weight to it, but of course the power brick's in there as well. And the other thing I noticed is some funny uh, translation going on here. Transmit nature music. Nature music. That's what I like to listen to. Tubes. Tubes. Oh my god, that's too cool. Of course they had to make this thing, because then I had to buy it. Okay, let's see here. Um, okay. That's really not a lot of information in there. Uh, I try to fill these out, I usually don't, but yeah, always fill these out when it comes with a warranty card. Yeah, my uncle, he would uh, always fill these out because of class action lawsuits. He actually got a free computer about 12 years after the fact, just because he filled out a card. Happy? I don't know yet. Power brick. Kind of looks like a GameCube or something, power brick. 24 volts, 4.5 amps. All right, and now the unit itself. I can't believe how small this is. It's amazing. This thing is just absolutely too freaking cool. And there's blue LEDs inside the inside the plugins for the tubes. This thing's so small. Another YouTuber said that the bass and treble controls that I'm halfway up is the flat setting or zero. So that from then is your big turning it down. The volume knob, these are smooth knobs. They're pretty good resistant. This has detents in it, clicks. And this is to replace this thing, which fried. I replaced those capacitors and those back there. And it worked for a little while, then fried again, so I'm just running it on one channel. But I'd like to see if I can fix it someday. But I couldn't pass this up though. I'm using this thing for uh, some techniques here. Yeah, anyways, uh, SBLX7. Really great speakers. They sound, they sound, these speakers sound better than probably any other house speaker I've ever heard as far as quality goes. Yeah, all the connections are gold plated. And these clear plastic things, I thought they were like protectors, but that's part of it. It's got a metal case. It's got some pretty decent rubber feet on it. Keep it from sliding around. Something so small, even the weight of the wires will yank it down. But plug in these tubes. suck to spill beer all over my new amplifier hmm wow those are too cool I could just stare at that all day that's just so cool I wonder how long tubes last all right I can't get this wrong it only goes in one way careful. Hmm, you really gotta push down on these things to install them. But it's like a video game cartridge or something that's about the same amount of pressure you need to stick it in there. I'm just so nervous. Okay, alright. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Oh, is that ever cool. Fine, I'll switch to manual focus, you dick. Okay. I'm too excited. I gotta hook this sucker up. Yeah, I'm hoping I can fix this Ansui. I mean, I've used it every day for like 15 years or something. I got it when I was a teenager. And I literally used it every day. Alright, out with the old and busted in with the new hotness. 
It's pretty amazing how they can fit all that crap into that and stick a couple tubes on it. Oh, I'm getting so need. Fuck you. Oh, manual focus. Oh, look at that. Look at that, Sony. Look at that, my manual focus job. How do you like that? It's even better than what you could do. Oh, whoa, look at that. And the moment has arrived. Let's get some non-copyright infringing songs going. Oh, this one's cool. Oh, God! Okay, well, that works a lot better than I thought it did. Can't just judge a book by the windows sound. Okay. Anyways. Shit, that scared me. Holy crap, that sounds good. Oh, yeah! So I had this thing cranked up pretty good. At first I thought it wasn't that loud. Oh, snap! It wasn't that loud. It's even got a little power indicator. Wow. So yeah, this thing was 93 bucks after tax and 